<clears throat> hey, Linda. Welcome, welcome. You all come on in. It's Robin from My Alkaline Vegan Journey. And we're following up uh, from our earlier conversation about our fasting. Um, I don't know if you all got a chance to actually watch Dr. Goldhammer yesterday. I um, played uh, an interview with him that was on a podcast in reference to his institute there in um, California where they specialize in nothing but fasting. And the information that has come out of that whole um, institute, what happened to my earring, uh, is absolutely amazing. As a matter of fact, I want to pull it back up. Um, what's interesting is that we're going to be doing a 40-day fast, all water. And we're still setting it up um, for this one because it's such an uh, extensive uh, fast. Uh, we're going to probably want you all to really sign up so that we can monitor um, everyone daily. And as you know, I come on daily uh, at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. And we're definitely going to be doing uh, the daily uh, uh, check-in at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. So uh, we're structuring it now uh, by starting with the Zoom call that we're going to do on March 1st. And the Zoom call is going to be us preparing our alkaline vegan dishes as well as... Um, eating them. It was going to be like a Mardi Gras mukbang for all alkaline uh, vegan dishes that you want to prepare. Yep, uh, Forrest, you're absolutely correct. Welcome. And yes, it will be a complete reset, a physical reset for your body. And I'm telling you, once you come out of these 40 days, you will have a system like a newborn baby. And that's what you want, full of stem cells, full of um, uh, excellent gut flora, um, probably the reversal of some uh, underlying situations. Like I did 21 days and completely reversed my hypertension. Uh, my doctor monitored me for about a year before she officially take me off the uh, uh, medication that she had me on. <coughs> but um, complete reversal in 21 days. So you can imagine what uh, 40 days is going to do. Um, welcome guys. You all come on in. I saw Linda. Okay. She's still here. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, Forrest, you're new to the group. I hope you're following. We are uh, setting things up now for first off the Zoom call on the 1st of March and then the um, actual 40 days uh, uh, live coming on twice a day, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Like we're doing now. I don't think much is going to change as far as that's concerned. But I did want to bring this uh, up. I also have a um, a uh, NIH report um, on uh, fasting and uh, with uh, for people with diabetes, and I'm going to post that. This uh, came out in 19, uh, 2019, 1919, good Lord. Um, and it basically speaks about the um, safety of uh, fasting for people with diabetes 1 and 2. So I wanted to share that. And for some reason, I can't get the URL to come on uh, the post. I can't paste anything for some reason while we're on the live. So I actually have to do it to... <coughs> on one of my posts, uh, but I will be doing that. Welcome, um, uh, Beauty34, thanks for following. Uh, Randy, welcome, welcome back. Thank you for the rose. Okay, um, Tamazon, <laughs> good evening. Am I saying that right, Tamazon? Okay, good evening, welcome, welcome. I'm seeing some new faces, uh, super nice. Welcome, welcome. I hope you all are following. We are getting ready for one of the biggest fasts uh, that many have ever done. Uh, and that's a 40-day fast, March 2nd. And we want to really get with that so that um, uh, we are very organized. We've got our uh, uh, physicians involved uh, because 40 days is no joke. 
But I'm telling you, like Forrest said, it's a complete reset. You will come out of this with a completely new body, basically. Uh, when I did my uh, first 40-day fast back uh, last year, when I came out of it, I had a system like a newborn baby. I mean, it, it really uh, purges everything. Everything. Let's see. Uh, Super nice says, will we be on earth when Jesus Christ comes back to earth? I think he's already here. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm sure of that. Okay. Randy says, I tried to, but I think TikTok uh, blocks URLs. Yeah, I think they do. Okay. Um, thank you so much for following Super Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, what were you saying about uh, type 2 diabetes? Yes. The article that I have uh, that I'm going to post in one of my videos uh, is the URL from a study with NIH where they talk about uh, fasting and type 2 diabetes. And I can read the last part of it for you. <coughs> That's basically what I do when I'm finding uh, um, uh, things, uh, articles like this. I go to Google and I uh, uh, type in um, uh, scholarly peer-reviewed articles on, and it takes me to a different site. I think it's Google Scholar or something like that. But most of the things that come up are from NIH and those studies that check in with NIH on their studies, because this one is actually done by, the authors are a Martin uh, Grajauer and Benjamin Holm. And uh, they've been cited, let's see how many times they got cited on this, meaning that other people uh, have taken their studies and the findings in their studies and have cited their, um, whatever they found in their studies on diabetes and fasting and they implemented their uh, studies in uh, the new studies. So the person who's citing them is doing a study as well. And they cite all of these scholarly peer reviewed um, articles on that same subject. So I read all of them, uh, basically the abstracts so that I can get the gist of if it's something that's, um, you know, relevant to my search. And let me not get too far behind because I have a tendency to do that. So yeah, it's safe. It's safe. Uh, and they speak primarily in this article on um, intermittent fasting. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And um, the other articles that are more recent, this one was 2019. The ones that are more recent speak about um, uh, uh, longer term all water fast that reverse type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And I'll get those URLs and post them as well. Because what you want to do when you do these things is find out the most recent uh, studies. Because like this one is in 2019, and they're only talking about intermittent fasting with uh, people with diabetes, showing that it is uh, safe. They have more studies that are more recent that have concluded that not only are intermittent fasting uh, safe for diabetics with type 1 and type 2, but also the longer, um, you know, 21 day, 40 day uh, fast. And that's why I follow Gold, Gold, um, Goldhammer because he has a whole institute in California that does nothing but study fasting. Now he's also uh, uh, dealing with a certain type of cancer. Uh, I forgot which one it is, but he um, has successfully reversed uh, someone with stage four cancer uh, um, with fasting, and they're speaking on uh, doing some other types of cancers, uh, reversing them uh, with fasting as well. But he has a controlled situation there specifically set up for uh, writing up these reports and being able to be published in uh, these medical uh, peer-reviewed uh, sites. So I, I follow him closely. Uh, uh, good morning, uh, lovely Sandy Sandra from Texas. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, 
TikTok mix. Welcome, welcome. So yeah, I'm going to post the information, the URL, so you can read the entire articles. And when you read these articles, also go to the citations. Those um, uh, uh, clinical studies that are being done and cites this particular one as well. Just read all of it. So I'll, I'll post that tonight. Okay, and then we've got um, uh, TikTok, re um, TikTok Remix says, only eat uh, grass-fed meat in my diet. It makes me uh, vegetarian too, right? Um, we're not vegetarians. We're alkaline vegans, which means we don't consume any kind of meat or any of their dairy uh, byproducts. Um, we only... Uh, Follow the things that are on Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, which I have posted. Because all of that stuff, I don't care if it's grass-fed or what, creates excess mu mucus and it is so acidic for the body, it's not even funny. And any nutrients that you are getting from this grass-fed uh, uh, meat is not coming from the meat itself. It's coming from the, the food that the cow or whatever is eating. So why not just cut out the middleman and go direct for the nutrients that are coming from what the cow is eating, you know, which is, you know, definitely not carnivorous. So, you know, we cut all of that out and uh, it's a healthy remedy. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> so, uh, Tamazon says, I have never been able to get past 48 hours of fasting. You gotta, you got to have the right mindset. Now, uh, what I explain to people often is that um, I've done five, uh, six fasts now. Uh, all have been 21 days of all water except for one. And that one was uh, 40 days of all water. And um, I, I set myself up mentally before I go into it that where I just say, I'm not going to deviate. And I don't. So, if one, and I've never had support until this last 21 day fast that we just had this year. First time ever having any support. And that's because I've been going live and I've got some really great family members that have joined uh, my Alkaline Vegan journey and have done the fasting with me. And it has made the time just fly by. I mean, really great. So, Tamazon, if you're interested, just follow us um, uh, every day, one p.m. and 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll be here uh, just talking about fasting. Okay. Did you do the dry fast for 40 days? No. Um, I am different. Oh, seven. Um, no, I did three days. I've only done three days dry. And that was the beginning three days of my 40 day fast back last year, February 17th to March 28th of 2021. I did three days of no water on in around my body uh, for three days. And then I went right into the water fasting for the other uh, 37 days. Um, and I do spring water, Deer Park and Crystal Geyser. Okay. Um, TikTok remix uh, says fasting with aloe vera and Paldarco is very effective. Yeah, but we do those uh, things, all of that stuff, and we don't use aloe, but um, I do use Pau Darko. Uh, we do after the fast. The most effective fast does not include any herbs whatsoever. It's all water. You're giving your body a complete rest, a complete break. So it does on its own what it does best, and that is repair and create homeostasis. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Lady SJW, for following. Uh, Randy says, approved food, yes. Remember that while we're not fasting, we are following Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, um, all alkaline, all wild, and <clears throat> it's posted on my page. What is wrong with my throat? Okay. So yes, please remember to follow uh, Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide. Okay, user 32 asks, what about 
cinnamon for uh, diabetics. Now, those things are fine when you're not fasting. Just remember, when we're fasting, we're going for the full-blown reset. And that is all water. No supplements, no vitamins, no sea moss, no nothing. Just water. And uh, I think cinnamon has been recommended for uh, uh, people with uh, diabetes uh, during their regular diet. But this is the kind that we use. It's called Ceylon cinnamon. This, uh, I do believe, is approved by Dr. Sabi as well. <clears throat> okay, thank you and stay blessed. Uh, for some reason, TikTok remix. Thank you so much, too. Okay, uh, Peter uh, Dammer, thank you so much for following, Peter. Okay, uh, user 37 says, um, I remember parents and grandparents fasting and praying, and that's what I do. I fast as, and pray as I fast. All my fasts have been prayer-led. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, oh, welcome, uh, Lack. Lacco Tabo, Tabo Boy. Okay. Uh, welcome. And uh, he says, um, uh, who wants uh, to cows? The cows. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, someone said that they're on uh, grass fed uh, meat, but we don't do any of that. Okay. You smile that was the objective okay TikTok remix oh you want to see me smile okay i don't smile enough huh okay jeff johnson oh my god that's so funny i had a neighbor uh i had a long-term crush on named jeff johnson <laughs> that's when i was really 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 very young a baby thank you so much hey peter thank you so much for the rose okay Let's see. Uh, hey, Tracy, uh, welcome. Yeah, guys, y'all have any questions about the uh, the fast or uh, the mukbang? Because right now I need help. I need help with getting the Zoom set up. The Zoom needs to be set up now so that we get all the information that's needed from everyone so we can open it so that uh, we can do the Zoom. And I'm going to... Um, Somehow or another, set it up. I'm going to do the Zoom on my uh, desktop and set it up almost like I had with showing the video uh, interview with um, Dr. Alan uh, Goldhammer and just have everybody on at one time uh, on, on the live as we do our Mardi Gras. So, yeah, if y'all have any uh, um, uh, technical skills, I could, I could use help with that. Okay. Thank you guys so much for sharing the live. Yeah, I was just in on um, uh, uh, Instagram. One of my girls over there, her name is uh, Honest Herbs. Uh, I was on her live uh, right quick and they were talking about dandelions. You know, that's my thing. I will go out in the backyard in a minute and freaking dig some dandelions up just for those roots. Those roots are just awesome. You take them, dehydrate them. You know, after you wash them up real good, you dehydrate them on 120 degrees or less. That just dries them out. And then once they're dried out, you turn that knob up to about uh, 190, maybe 200 degrees to roast them. And you do that for about 10, 15 minutes till you start smelling them and just uh, grind them in your coffee grinder. And then you uh, um Perk, perk them just like you would regular coffee. And that stuff is amazing. I'm telling you, you talk about some good coffee. I uh, take some walnuts and some uh, spring water and make me some uh, walnut milk and my agave. And I got a nice cup of coffee, you know. So, yeah, that was my thing. So, Peter says to user, oh, it's 87. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks for your kindness and wisdom. Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, I love this platform because everyone here is so kind and so helpful and so loving and caring. This is the best platform for support and encouragement, especially when you're fasting. I'm telling you, I, I couldn't speak highly enough 
about the, the family that has been uh, uh, pulled together here on this platform. That's why I'm saying we can do 40. Hands down, I know we can do 40. But I do want you all to have um, some medical um, supervision, uh, especially those of you who have who've never fasted before. Because even though I know it's, it can be done, I don't want anything to happen to anyone. So please consult your physicians and have them, even if they don't agree with you doing it, have them uh, give you some sort of medical supervision. Quincy, thank you so much for following. Uh, Love Hurts, thank you too for following. Uh, Kinger, I think it, it is, has joined us. And Mark, thank you so much for joining us. You all have any questions or anything? Uh, I've got court in the morning. You know, I still got to do my investigation crap, you know. But um, yeah, so we're not going to stay on long. But I did want to check in. Anyone fasting right now? Anyone fasting right now? Because I know some people um, uh, were had started a little while uh, after we started on January 1st. And we finished uh, January 22nd. And we went right into our chelation, which is, you know, the heavy metal pool out of our system. And that's a, 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 some teas that we did. So literally yesterday, yeah, Saturday, was the kind of the, the end end of our fasting, merging into the chelation, then the rejuvenation, then the um, uh, uh, raw foods. And now uh, you should be able to basically eat whatever you want. Um, that's on Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, I should say. Because, um, yeah, now, now, guys, you know, we are all alkaline vegans following Dr. Sabi. We are not vegans, we are not vegetarians, we are alkaline vegans, meaning we, we, we only eat things that are raw, I mean not raw, but uh, alkaline and wild. No hybrids, no cross-pollinated foods, no genetically modified foods, things that are wild. And that's what separates us from vegans. You know, even though we don't eat meat, we don't eat dairy, none of that, the byproducts. <clears throat> yes. So, oh, okay. Randy is on day 15. Water. Oh, Randy, I didn't know that. Day 15. Okay. Okay. Very good. Because I know Keisha just finished, and I think Shaq should be finishing today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, you all keep Shaq in your prayers. While we were fasting, she lost her brother to uh, COVID. So we're sending her and her family prayers. The funeral is this Thursday. So um, we want to, you know, make sure we keep them in um, our prayers. You know, we are a family and we're going to support one another no matter what. And their extended families become our, our and their families become our extended families as well. Thank you so much, uh, Love Hers, for following. And, um, oh, Lord, my eyes are really going crazy. Monique uh, Scorpio, thank you so much for following. Yeah, y'all tap the screen. It does something with the analytics. So just tap the screen. Just keep tapping it. And it does help. I don't know what. I, I get uh, uh, better ratings. I don't get the, the stag. You know, sometimes when... You come on people's lives. It takes forever to, to get on. But something about hitting that screen and having those hearts come up really does um, help with uh, my reception. I don't know what that is. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to read this last little part to those that are diabetics. Uh, that's going to be in the URL that I'm going to post on the video uh, that I'm going to send. If you all have any questions, feel free. I'm sorry, Randy, I missed your question. Oh, sorry. Let me go back. Okay, let me keep going. I thought I was all caught up, and I was not. It was a bunch of... Uh, hey, Iconic Wonders. Welcome, welcome. I did miss some people. I'm sorry. 
And you said, I miss your uh, 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 biblical. Uh, the fast is biblical if you're biblical. Um, I'm biblical. I, I pray as I fast. So, hey, we got somebody else on the line from Michigan. Welcome, welcome. Who is this? See, I think it's usually what I'm wearing that I can't see. I don't know what's happening with my eyes. Maybe the light might help. You know what I mean? Put the light for someone. Nope. I don't know what's happening. Wind Cardona. Am I saying that right? Welcome from Michigan, Wind uh, Cardona. So Iconic Wonders, does that answer your biblical question? And uh, Randy, I, how did I miss your question? Because I don't see it. Oh, me, day 15, spring water. I, I got that. How did I miss your question? Approved food, Dr. Sabre's Nutritional Guide. I don't see, I don't know. Maybe it hasn't popped up yet. Okay. I don't know. I, I think that is. You missed my question. I sure did. See, sometimes what happens is um, when I'm behind, which is often, it, it takes a couple... Uh, Oh, okay. You said uh, Abdul, son of Sabi, called you. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. So hopefully we can get him in and maybe, you know, uh, he might want to do some uh, 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 co-hosting and we can ask him questions because I know he has gathered so much information from his dad that, you know, I couldn't even parlay. You know, not in, even in the right sense of things because he was so awesome. Whoa, so awesome. Hey, Yvonne, welcome, welcome. We're talking about fasting and reclaiming our health and wellness. Come on in, guys. Come on in. I think at 8 o'clock. Uh, so you said Tuesday, 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Okay, so let's do that. Let's uh, try to do it where, uh, so Randy, are you saying that he'd be available? So 10 a.m. is what for us? 10, 11, 12, 1. So yeah, 10 a.m. for you all is 1 uh, p.m. Eastern. I can't remember if it goes forward or back. I do the same thing with Australia. I, I always call my daughter at the wrong time of the day, you know? So I can't keep these time zones together. Okay, so yeah. If, if we could do uh, tomorrow at 1 o'clock, that would be wonderful. I mean, 10 a.m. Your, your time. And just have him come on. Oh, God. I'm, I'm going to uh, try to do a post and um, uh, get, you know, some more people in the room so that uh, they have the benefit of being able to ask questions, you know, give comments and homage and all of that for um, uh, Abdul. So y'all hear that? Randy uh, just received a call from Dr. Sabi's son, Abdul, and he um, may be able to join us tomorrow, Monday, the 31st of January at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific time on my live and co-host. So that or you said, okay, Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday at 1. Okay, so we'll do that. So Tuesday, not tomorrow. So Tuesday will be February 1st. February 1st, Tuesday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, he may be able to come on and uh, join us as co-hosts. And you all can ask questions. You all can, you know, um, you know, just kind of open the floor for him. Um, adding comments or you know, whatever, because I, I know he's got some, a wealth of information. Oh, wow. Yeah. Black History Month. I forgot about that. Yeah. Because every day for us is Black History Month, you know, <laughs> Black History Year. <laughs> so yes, that would be really nice. 
Okay, guys. Yes, we're going to have Dr. Sabi's son on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Uh, Eastern. So let's let's prepare to receive him, you know, ask questions, you know, have the have the 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 um the room just filled. So and uh you know, sharing our love and caring and support and enthusiasm, all of that for him. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. Thank you so much, Randy, for setting that up. Thank you so much. So guys, yes, uh, prepare for that. And we're going to get his take on, you know, how he feels about fasting, um, any new uh, uh, implementations on the um, nutritional guide, because I know there's still work being done on the guide. And little things that I've heard um, are things like, um, I think parsley might be back on the guide. <clears throat> um, maple syrup that's not uh, processed might be on the guide, but I haven't, I haven't heard it from a reliable source. So maybe we can get some information like that from him. Hey, Kiwi. Hey, uh, hi, Kick. How are you? Thanks for joining. Yes, we're talking about um, fasting and our guest um, co-host for Tuesday, February 1st, 1 o'clock, when we come on live, Dr. Sabi's son, Abdul. So I look forward to that. I really look forward to that. So um, you all have any other questions or comments? Um, let me know. Um, what else? There was something else that I was going to do. Yeah, for uh, those, the, one one of the things that I get a lot of questions about are people that have diabetes one or two and fasting, especially uh, long-term fasting. Now, this article uh, out of NIH, uh, which is the National Institute of Health, is a government um, um, agency that deals primarily with uh, reports that uh, directly deal with our health. Um, and I found them by way of uh, uh, requesting scholarly peer-reviewed articles. And this one is by a couple of doctors. Um, uh, let's see, it was published um, uh, April 11th of 2019. <clears throat> and it, uh, the title reads, Clinical Management of Intermittent Fasting in Patients with Diabetes uh, Mellitus. And the conclusion is what I kind of went for. <clears throat> and it sets it up and it says, it goes through a whole plethora of things where yes, it's, 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 um, it's safe, but there's still more studies that need to be done. In addition to that, there's medication adjustments that you uh, may need to go through and things like that. Hey DC, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, um, Randy set it up where we're going to have a guest speaker February 1st, Tuesday, uh, Dr. Sabi's son. So, yeah, spread the word. Hey, Mr. Brown, how are you? Okay, so right now what I'm reading is an article that I'm going to post the URL uh, for people who are dealing with uh, diabetes uh, types 1 and 2 uh, and fasting. And it reads, <clears throat> what is wrong with my throat? Intermittent fasting when undertaken for health reasons in patients with diabetes mellitus, both types one and two has been shown in a few small human studies to induce weight loss and reduce insulin requirements. While these findings are exciting and have captured the imagination of many people, a wise approach to implementing fasting regimens and using them in the long term among this specific population is required. Much of the hype surrounding fasting arises from animal studies, which only suggests what human research should be conducted. The implementation of human interventions should not be based on animal research. Long-term benefits of fasting, including cardiovascular risk reduction, remain to be fully studied and elucidated, especially in humans. Clinicians should temper the enthusiasm for fasting with the reality that the benefits and risk in humans 
remain largely unexplored and the benefits may take months to years to appear or be fully realized. Good evidence from epidemiologic studies, pilot and interventional trials, and a few randomized trials does suggest that the benefits of fasting outweigh the potential harms in the average individual. People with diabetes, however, are not average individuals and their personal needs require more careful consideration at the beginning and uh, of and during the use of fasting regimen. With proper medication adjustment and self-monitoring uh, of blood glucose levels, though intermittent, fisting, in, intermittent fasting can be encouraged and safely implemented among people with diabetes. Now, of course, I, I re-emphasize the fact that this study was done April of 2019, and I have URLs for uh, more recent studies out of NIH and MIT that uh, have concluded that long-term fasting for uh, patients with diabetes 1 and 2 have been shown to reverse uh, uh, diabetes. The long-term all water fasting. So I'm going to I'm going to get the URL. I'm going to send this one. This study was done in 2019. I have a study that was done I believe in 2000 uh, 21, I want to say, and I'm going to put that, uh, on, uh, one of my posts. Got to figure out how to do it. Cause you won't be able to cut and paste it if I do it in a video either. So you, almost like Dr. Sabi's, um, nutritional guide, you can, uh, uh, pause the screen and screenshot it. And that's probably what you're going to have to do with the URLs that I'm going to attach to one of these, um, uh, posts. So, yeah. So, M. Brown, how are you doing? How are you doing? Thank you, Randy, for the roses. Uh, DC's in the house. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for following. Okay. And thank you guys for sending the likes. That it really does help because I don't get that pause like I used to. Um, trying to, you know, get on and all of that. So I think, you know, hitting the screen. Just sending the likes really does help. <laughs> okay. So, guys, at 8 o'clock, we're going to wrap this up. we got about 10 minutes. You all have any other questions, comments? We're going to keep coming on every day at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. So people can check in, ask their questions. Uh, quite often, I'm going to have some uh, uh, information uh, in reference to not just fasting, but all the all the things that come with uh, the benefits of fasting. Uh, and that goes into, you know, uh, the lymphatic system, the uh, digestive system, the uh, gut flora, uh, uh, the, the microbiome in your gut. How, how uh, just give you specifics on what's happening in there now. And uh, the stored junk that's in our uh, uh, guts, they say you can store up uh, food for up to a, a couple of years. You could have actual food in your gut right now from a couple of years if you've never fasted. I was like, wow. I, I, can't, I, I was surprised that when I first fasted, it took three days for me to uh, pass my last bowel movement. Because all, all I could think is, what could that stuff be doing in your system for that amount of time. I mean, if you set uh, a piece of meat on the stove and it's, I mean, my body is 98.6 uh, degrees, right? Fahrenheit, right? So it's pretty warm in there. But so say for instance, you set it in the heat for three days. <laughs> Can you imagine? Oh my God, and it's sitting in your gut. Ah, it's almost like it, it, it should be mandatory to fast. It should be mandatory to, to cleanse your gut like that because you're setting yourself up for disease if you don't. I mean, that's all I can think. I mean, just logically thinking. So yeah, uh, March 2nd, we're going to do 40 days of all water fasting. 
Okay, so uh, user 76, welcome, welcome. You just joined and are stating that it's safe to fast. Oh, yeah, of course it's safe to fast. I've done six of them. Yeah, you have to always consult with your physician. Always start there. If for nothing more than to get your numbers, your your diastolic, your systolic from your blood pressure, your your cholesterol, your your um um your uh um cholesterol, your sugar, you want to get all your weight, you want to get all your numbers. You want to, you know, be smart about it. Yes, yeah, safe to fast. People have been doing it for centuries. I don't understand the statement. Maybe that's what what is throwing me off. Stating that it's safe to fast. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Just join. Are you stating that it's safe to fast? Yeah. Well, let me, my history, from my experience, I've done six all water fasts. Five of them have been 21 days. One of them has been 40 days all water. So yes, I can say it's safe to fast. Now your situation may be different from mine. Now, whereas I didn't really go see my doctor before I did <coughs> any of my fast actually. But I don't have anything wrong with me. I had, well, I had high blood pressure and I wasn't taking the medicine anyhow. So, you know, that's on me. But everybody's going to be different. You got to check, check with your, your doctor, you know, to really get into that. And what I was explaining to people uh, before is that if you um, have diabetes and uh, um, hypertension and all of that, most doctors are not well read. They, they're not keeping up with their practice. And a lot of these studies that I'm um, going to give you the URLs to, you might want to show it to them in that it shows that it's safe for people with uh, some of these underlying uh, maladies to fast and ex for extended periods of time and to uh, ask that they give you medical supervision if you decide to do it. So yeah, I hope I answered that uh, user 76 uh, in Brown. My gut gives me a lot of problems because most... Um, most, if not all, diseases start in the gut. Almost all of them. And if your gut biome is off, because we have bacteria in our gut. But if yours is more uh, uh, bad gut flora, yeah, you're going to have some. It's not going to just be in your gut. It's going to be all other diseases are going to form from that because your gut's not right your body's not going to be right. And I also have this um, probiotic. That's why they you know, recommend probiotics uh, for gut situations. And that's kind of short term because if you don't get the gut floor right, it's just going to uh, come back again. It's something about the bad bacteria just overwhelming the good bacteria that's in your gut. And that's why fast resets all of that resets it all gets rid of because once you start forming those stem cells they they go crazy and they they love devouring disease cells and the gut in conjunction with your lymphatic system the, um, will get rid of the disease cell and the way it gets it out of your body is through the lymphatic system which is your sewage system gets rid of all the waste so getting that that those things in conjunction i'm telling you is is great hey uh moonlight from south wales my my daughter is there in uh sydney wait south wales uk she's in uh new south wales <laughs> i'm sorry about that yeah she's in new south wales in uh australia <clears throat> i actually live on the gold coast so welcome from the uh from the uk here Welcome, welcome. We're talking about fasting. So user 76, I hope I, I got that together for you. So yes, we're talking about fasting. We're going to be doing a 40-day all-water fast starting March uh, 2nd. And I'm asking that you get your doctors, uh, uh, we'll put them on notice if you're uh, determined to do it. And I am, I'm going to do it, regardless of what my doctor says, only because I've done it before. Uh, so, you know, hope you're keeping safe and well. Uh, of course, uh, that's what this whole conversation is all about. Not just keeping safe and well, but maintaining our own wellness so that we don't have to worry about depending on pharmaceuticals.
depending on our um, health care providers, taking ownership of our own well-being and health. So that's what this conversation is all about. And we do, we're doing it by way of, first off, fasting, purging the system of all the, the crap that's in the system, and then uh, uh, migrating into uh, a, a healthier eating style, which is by um, eating all alkaline and all wild. And we follow Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide. Uh, Dr. Sabi was um, a, a master. He went through and did a lot of research. They challenged him in the uh, Supreme Court of New York in reference to some of the uh, healings that he had conducted. And I'm talking about in every arena, cancer, herpes, AIDS, uh, you, you name it. He has uh, a, a patient who was still under doctor's care uh, or supervision as he helped heal them. We've got one on uh, line now. Her name is Randy, and uh, she's out of California, and she was uh, diagnosed with stage five cervical cancer and uh, sought Dr. Sabi and brought her back to full wellness, and she is with us today. So I know it can be done, even though I've never had any... Uh, uh, malady as serious. Uh, I know the power of fasting simply through the research that I've done and the actual uh, fasting that I've done for myself um, six times over. Okay. Yeah, um, Randy is right. And and I think it is a concerted effort with the um, medical community. Not so much that they don't want us to be well. They don't have the, a clue. I think they're more interested in... Um, uh, not facing um, malpractice and all of that. Because even uh, Dr. Um, Goldhammer was saying that back in the 80s, when he first started recommending fasting, they sent him to criminal court on malpractice. You know, he had to actually have a criminal defense attorney because they said uh, him starving people <laughs> was, uh, you know, uh, dangerous and all that. Yeah. Okay, use it. Thank you so much. And I want you to follow us. We're here every day at 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. Uh, to give uh, loving care, support, and encouragement as you fast. If you have any questions, if you have any kind of uh, comments or anything, just feel free. You're part of the family. Okay, so um, what do you mean by that? Okay, I missed something. Uh, can I fast with heart condition? What I'm going to say to you, Trying 64, is that of course you can under the uh, supervision of your uh, medical physician. You, you really need to make sure that if you have any kind of underlying, and even if you don't have an underlying condition, consult with your physician. Let them know that you're interested in fasting because just like uh, in the piece that I shared yesterday, there was <clears throat> a woman who uh, had a stage four uh, uh, cancer who, um, you know, the doctors were telling her it didn't matter what she ate, you know, um, and she was interested in fasting and they, they, told her that uh, she shouldn't, and an oncologist uh, referred her to what they called Goldhammer back then as the whack doctor who was doing, you know, fasting and stuff like that. And the whack doctor, through fasting, wound up completely reversing her situation of cancer. So all, I say all of that to say that, yes, you can fast. You can fast anytime you want, but let's be sensible about it especially if you have uh, conditions, get your, your medical team involved. Whether they agree with you or not, get them involved. Uh, just like she, you know, the woman with cancer, it's like, I'm not going to let them get signed my death warrant and not uh, give something a try. So even though they, they warned her against uh, uh, fasting, she did it anyhow. And it wound up reversing her condition and 
uh, three to five years later, she's still healthy. But after fasting, she was put on a very strict meal plan that she stuck to. And that's what Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide is all about. Sticking to a meal plan once you cleanse your system. And that's what this is. Letting your body have that rest to do its repair without any interruption. Getting the gut flora back to homeostasis, which is uh, uh, good bacteria. Giving your lymphatic system the break it needs as far as getting, you know, revved up. Because at this point, you're, you're, you're building all these stem cells and these stem cells are going where they're needed, whether it be the gut, whether it be the brain, whether it be the uh, uh, blood. And it's, 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 it's producing these cells. And it's the only natural way to produce these specialized functioning cells like the brain, like the lymphatic system, like the uh, blood. It's through stem cell production. And the only way to get those are through fasting, unless you're doing some of that crap that they're doing with these embryos. I, I don't understand that. But anyhow, um, through our reading and everything, we know that you can get uh, um, stem cells uh, only uh, two ways. And that's through an infant at an embryonic stage of three to five days, umbilical cord, amniotic fluid, or by all water fasting. So uh, in short, trying 64, yes, you can, but do it with good common sense and get your medical team involved. Okay. Now I didn't catch this, uh, Randy, uh, something happened. What do you mean by that? Somebody said, so HBK Dior, let me go back because I missed something. Okay, are you okay with non-vegans? Oh, of course. Are you okay with being a, a non-vegan? <laughs> I'm telling you. HBK, check this out. Uh, hey, uh, uh, Thomas, Prue, yeah, we're back on the 7. Um, let, let me tell you like this, uh, HBK. What's interesting is once you do a fast, an extended fast, you're not going to want to put any and everything in your system. Watch what I tell you. you. You're not going to want to do it because you have created a pristine environment. One in which is high in immunity. You got everything is in, in line. It's, 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 it's perfect, I want to say. I mean, you, you kind of rec uh, are creating a system that's much like that of a newborn. And you're not gonna feed no newborn no steak, <laughs> you know? You're not gonna feed no uh, uh, newborn, uh, no any and everything that's off the shelf, Cheetos and <laughs> all that crap, you know? <laughs> you're gonna treat your system with respect. And in doing so, you're not gonna put those uh, GMOs, and those uh, uh, cross hybrid and pollinated uh, crap in your system. You watch what I tell you. And that's why I encourage everyone to do the fast. Do the 40 days March 2nd. You'll see what I'm talking about. Because it ain't no joke when you go without eating for that uh, amount of time. And you treat your body with such care that, you know, you ain't thinking about no vaccine. You ain't thinking about no COVID. Your body is good, righty, tight, tight. You understand what I'm saying? Righty, tight. I'm talking about the whole armor right there. Simple as that. So yeah, yeah, that's what he meant by that. Do we? <laughs> Do you mind? No, I'm vegan. No, we, we are alkaline vegans, but no, nah, you come on. Because yeah, you do this fast. <laughs> And even, even if you don't, you, you're going you're gonna to hear so many testimonies from those of us who have so much energy. We done got rid of all these aches and pains and, you know, we don't reverse, you know, some of these doggone uh, uh, diagnoses that doctors are trying to give you lifetime medications on. You're going to hear all of this stuff and you're going to stop eating that crap. <laughs> you watch what I say. 
You're going to do a full 180. You're not going to want to do anything but alkaline vegan. So, yeah, you come on in, you know. Let's see. I did miss that. I don't know how I missed that. And I missed uh, Th Thomas Prue is on one. Hey, what's up? Okay. I got South Wales. My gut gives me problems. Just join. Are you stating this and that? I don't know how I missed that. Y'all, thank you so much uh, for catching that. Okay. Um, I'd say God bless you. Uh, but it looks like he already did. <laughs> Who is that? Yeah, he's constantly blessing me. He sits at the helm of my existence, you know. And that's uh, TK... AMD. I'm going to call you TK, okay? Yep. <laughs> but I can also always use more of God's blessings. Thank you for that. Sean, uh, Shauna, welcome. I almost missed yours too. I'm sorry. I had to go back because I think I'm going too fast. Um, if you just put fruits and veggies, you shouldn't need to fast. Are you crazy? What are you talking about? <laughs> No, you always need to purge because, you know, the biggest organ in your body is susceptible to so many things that are just in the environment. Um, so, yeah, you, you always and actually you should fast about twice a year. You, you want to purge your body unless you're uh, uh, growing everything yourself in dirt that you have cultivated and made, you know, pristine. And I don't know of anywhere on earth that, that is still pristine unless you're on some remote island, you know, some place that nobody else has been to, ain't nobody inundated, you know, all of that stuff. Come on now. You shouldn't need to fast. Where do where, where you get that from? Just out the sky? Come on, Shauna. Let's be reasonable. <laughs> yeah, everyone should fast. I think it should be mandated. Like they're trying to mandate that vaccine. Ah, yeah, everyone should fail because we live in an environment where we have cars that roll down the road and all of that. And of course, fruit does a great thing of maintenance. Veggies do a great thing of uh, uh, rebuilding after the maintenance is done from the repair. But nothing cleans the gut like a fast. So come on. And that's all we do. Fruits and veggies, for the most part. If you look at Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, and even Dr. Sabi says that a fast is good for you. Everybody, I'm telling you from centuries. I, I'm trying to figure out where your thought process is coming from, Shauna. I don't know. Anyhow, um, <clears throat> yeah, you always need to fast. Okay. Hope you're keeping safe and well. They don't want us to be well. Yes, uh, you did. And thank you. You're welcome. HBK, what's going on? Uh, can I fast with heart condition? Uh, same as Dr. Sabi, who started in uh, early 1980s. Check that out. Okay. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, um, I'm in... I can't say the names. What is that? I'm in... HNID... Harb. I'm just going to call you Iman. LOL. It means all Muslims parents have to go to um, courthouse. What is that? All Muslims parents have to go to the courthouse. You mean as far as fasting? Because I know you all, most religions have a fast of some sort in their um, uh, uh, religious practices. So, yeah, I, I don't know if that's what you're referring to, I'm in. Um, Randy says, uh, yeah, fruits and veggies. Uh, hey, Wesley, how are you? Thank you so much. He says, you're pretty. Uh, Wesley, how are you? I'm, I'm really well. We just finished a 40-day, 21-day uh, fast, and we're about to do another 40-day uh, fast. So welcome, welcome. Follow us and join the family. We're about to do a thirty. Uh, we're about to do a, a forty-day fast on uh, March second, 
and uh, it's to completely reset our systems. So yes. Okay, user 76, what date are we starting the fast? Uh, it's going to be March 1st at midnight. So March 2nd. And has anybody found the end date? What's the end date? 40 days after March 2nd. I, I don't even know the end date. I just know we start March 2nd and we go 40 days. I got to figure out the end date. I got to look at a calendar. But um, yeah, guys, it's 8 o'clock. So what are we going to do? Y'all coming back tomorrow at 1 o'clock, Monday uh, the 31st at 1 o'clock. So user 76, March uh, 1st, during the day, we're going to actually have a mukbang, which means we're going to you know, try to do a Zoom where everybody's preparing uh, alkaline vegan foods from Dr. Sabi's list, and we're going to be eating, doing our Mardi Gras on a Zoom on live. I'm going to uh, uh, film it on live. And um, at midnight, we're going to put the forks down and we're going to start our 40 day fast. So we're organizing that now. And with the 40 day fast, I think I, I would like to get more information on those that are actually going to do it because I want to keep specific uh, uh, um, tabs on people, calls, emails, you know, texts, whatever, because I'm, I'm going to be on you like white on rice. Because 40 days, I, I want y'all to have support above and beyond us coming on uh, at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So um, I, I'll let you all know because we have a little bit of time before we need that. Okay, so it's uh, March 2nd to April 16th. Okay, thank you, Randy. So... Um, just prepare. Start preparing mentally. Start doing some sort of activity that right now gets you out of that loop of eating. Get gets you out because you know how you got you get pre uh, scheduled where oh yeah I haven't eaten all day it's time to eat. Get out of that right now. I mean eat when you're hungry, but get out of that schedule. Got to have breakfast. Schedule. Got to have lunch. Schedule. Got to have dinner. That kind of thing. You know, eat when you're hungry right now, but get get into some kind of uh, uh, activity or a project or, you know, something that really does get your mind off of making eating a social construct. Do that because that for me was the main thing. You know, I'm still, you know, um, it was in the mindset with my first fast like, oh, yeah, I'm not eating. I almost forgot that. Yeah, I'm not eating. You know, and then I'm still, I was still cooking and everything and forgot, oh shoot, I can't taste it, you know? <laughs> so, you know, you got to kind of shift your, your whole uh, thought process and you can start now because we have till March 2nd to really start, you know, thinking of other things that you could be doing. Because for me, I know I'm going to be off that planet because I'm going to be in a completely new environment. Because I'm moving to St. Lucia and I'm not going to be thinking about, you know, breakfast, lunch and dinner. If anything, I'm going to be thinking about, you know, what's around me. How soon can I get in that water? <laughs> I'm be in that water. I'm telling you, I love to dive. I really do. I can't wait to get down there. And the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, do a dive to harvest some sea moss and capture that stuff on my new GoPro, which I've been waiting to use. I have been waiting to use it. I've did a couple dives before, but I never had the equipment to really uh, do the underwater part. I do have a couple photos of where I was in the water uh, with my iPhone, um, but you can only go down so far with them, so I didn't take it. Um, and I do have one where somebody took me with my tank on and stuff. But I, you know, it wasn't really a big thing until I started seeing this fake stuff popping up here in the States. Fake sea moss where they actually, um, dot, you know, doing um, moss that's tied to a rope on the beach and they call it farming. They got them in St. Lucia too, but um, they uh, uh, take the sea moss and cut it off the rope. I was like. Where they do that at? When all you got to do, especially in St. Lucia, is walk around the beach and grab it. We don't do that, though. You know, I go about 20 feet with my tank on uh, and we cut it 
from uh, gardens that I've already scouted out. Because, you know, that's what I do. I, you know, so we got some of the best stuff. And the area there in St. Lucia and St. Vincent is all volcanic uh, volcanoes. So they've got the richest, richest uh, uh, minerals and stuff. Stuff grows there like, I mean, like weeds, literally, because of these volcanoes. And it's really interesting because the stuff that I harvest is, I think, more nutritious than most because of the volcanoes. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, y'all come down because I'm telling you, I'm setting up an uh, Airbnb. So when I go back to Australia, I'll still have a place to come to when I uh, uh, go to St. Lucia. Because that's my in, my in game. I got to get back home to Australia. Okay, let me get the rest of these. Wesley on here trying to flirt. Let me see who Wesley is. <laughs> hey, Wesley. <laughs> you part of the family now, Wesley. Wesley, are you following me? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, man, I just had the pain. Okay, user 76. What date? Okay, Randy says April 16th. Uh, Fresh Locks. Thank you so much for fo following me, Fresh Locks. Uh, Sharon, uh, hello. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Okay. Beverly, uh, says just turning, tuning in. Uh, what is the fast all about? Better health, weight loss. I'm interested. Uh, we're, we're basically focused on health. We're trying to regain ownership of our health and wellness. And this is a, a platform that was set up at our at the beginning of the year when we did our very first 21 day uh, fast and I did all water and um, we're entering into our next fast, which is uh, starting March 2nd and it's for 40 days and it's all about resetting our system purging all the crap out of our system, giving us a complete reset so that we could take complete ownership of our, our health and wellness, taking some of that dependency off of the pharmaceutical industry and really the um, getting out of the food industry of sorts because we follow Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, which is all alkaline and all wild. So welcome, Beverly. I hope you follow and hope you join us. Um, we are um, going to be on every day from one uh, at one o'clock p.m. and seven o'clock p.m. And one of our family members, Randy, uh, knows Dr. Sabi's son Abdul, and he's going to be joining us Tuesday, February first, at one o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So please join us then as well. We want to come prepared with our questions, comments, and whatever uh, information we want to welcome him you know, into the family home and, um, you know, just get the benefit of his knowledge. So yeah, Beverly, I hope that answered. Um, so yeah, we're, uh, we basically, uh, Beverly right now, um, the, the purpose of the, uh, platform is to give, uh, uh, support and encouragement for those that are fasting. Uh, cause some people didn't start with us. Uh, on the first, um, and they're still fasting. And we come on every day, uh, one and seven, to give those people loving care, support, and encouragement while they fast. Because many who are fasting are fasting alone, you know, unsupported, without, you know, any backing. Thank you, Randy, for the flowers. Um, and we want to make this a safe place so that people can fast and get support and encouragement. So I hope that answered that. Okay. Uh, Rubber Smith. Wait, is that, did I say that right? Yeah, Rubber Smith. Thank you so much for following. Uh, Queen Robin, don't be shocked when you see me on the St. Lucian beaches. No, I'll be looking forward to it. As a matter of fact, before I leave, you know, because the rainy season is in September. Um, so sometime before then, I'm inviting y'all down. I just got to get down there and get settled. You know, hey, Fatum, yeah, Fatum, I always say this wrong, Fatum Puti uh, has joined us. Okay, I'm going to need it pre-accident. 
um, I was 505 post accident. I got to 325. Wow. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazing. I'm way behind. I didn't realize I was so way behind. Okay, yeah, Dr. Sabi. Um, S E B I. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, all of this information is on my page. I've posted it and I put red uh red banners around it so that you all uh could easily find some of the posts that you're looking for. Um uh, yes, Fatum uh, Fat Fatam Puti, Fatam Puti. Um uh, yeah, this is the perfect place for you. Perfect place. Because I'm telling you, we have a wonderful family. You know, so supportive. Uh, I mean, really very kind. And, you know, um, I, mm, I'm just so glad that we are all here together. And that I don't ever have to do another fast alone. I thank you all for that. I, uh, Beverly, that was another thing I was telling them that... Um, uh, during my other fast, uh, I've done six so far. Four in 2020, I had to do all by myself, and I had never fasted before. Then I did a 40-day fast last year, had to do it by myself. Um, I had no support whatsoever. But, you know, I, I still made it, but I think it could have been so much easier. Now I know I could, because my sixth fast, which was the one we just did this year, first time I ever had support, and that thing went so fast. I mean, it turned around and was finished. We were done because of the support that, and encouragement that I got right here going live and the family that we formed in this house right here, my Alkaline Vegan Journey. So, yeah, um, we don't eat anything uh, during our fast um, unless you're deciding not to do the full 40 days all water. Uh, of course, you can choose to do... Um, uh, foods and the um, nutritional guide that we referred you to, Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, is posted and they have specific foods. Now, um, you can choose to do all water. All water is what I'm promoting because that's the only study that I found that gives the benefits that we're looking for. That's the stem cell production. That's the um, uh, gut cleanse. It, it, it just encapsulates everything. But it's uh, only uh, achieved with all water. But you can choose to do all water, all herbal teas and juices, all smoothies or all raw foods. And you do that uh, uh, from Dr. Sabi's Nutritional Guide, which is posted on my page. Okay, Sharon. Okay, I think I'm going to start February fasting intermittently and prep myself for March. Like, that's an excellent idea. And then what I was suggesting is that if you do intermittent fasting, do it, you know, far enough in advance where you get a, a sense of um, maybe go uh, stop eating at um, uh, 8 o'clock and don't start back again till uh, 8 a.m. And then do 6 o'clock, stop eating and don't eat again till 12 noon. And then do, you know, you know, kind of make the feeding times uh, smaller and smaller so that you really get the full effect. But that's a great strategy to do it that way since we have uh, time. But I don't care what we're doing our mukbang. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. We're going to do our mukbang March 1st. Yeah, um, um, Beverly, March 1st, we're going to do a mukbang, which is us uh, preparing alkaline vegan foods from Dr. Sabi's Nutritional Guide and eating it, you know, all on a Zoom call that I'm setting up and we're going to uh, film it live. So we're going to have all of that set up. Um, let's see. Um, uh, Fresh Locks, thank you so much. Uh, Sharon, uh, can I buy your car? Sure you can. <laughs> you don't want that piece of crap. I'm giving it to my daughter. Yeah, I'm telling you, the last time I left, when I left in 2016 going to Australia, I had a BMW. It was pretty cute, a little silver one. And I just realized that I just replaced the little car with the SUV, the X5, and it's silver, you know. Fatum Pati, yeah, go ahead, ask your question. 
Okay, because uh, I'm always behind. Now, Sharon Austin uh, says, can I buy your car? <laughs> That's too funny and random. Uh, Fatim Pate says, Queen, I'm starting my uh, water fast tomorrow. Lord, I need support. You got it, girl. Don't you even worry about it. You know we're here. We are here. Just put the fork down and don't think about being afraid or nervous or anything like that. Get that negative energy out of your mind, out of your system, and just float forward like, I got this. Because you know you do. Because you got back. You got back. You got a whole family. The, the My Alkaline Vegan Journey family is here for you. You hear me? <laughs> I need support. You got it. You got it. Well, well done. Now, are you also going to uh, join us um, March 2nd if you're starting your fast now? Fatum Pate, uh, Fatam Pute. Just uh, uh, let me know. Randy says, this is the perfect uh, time uh, for preparation. That's why I jumped in when I found Robin. Very good. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Randy. Um, straight out of the uh, gate, Dr. Sabi fasted 40 days. I ain't know that, but I bet. He seems like that kind of, you know, character that he ain't going to half step. He just going to do it, do what needs to be done and, and, and change that system around because that's what it takes. Just jumping in. And when you think about your whole life and you think about all the stuff that you've consumed and you're now learning that most of the stuff was some junk, properly designed for population control at its conception. You start thinking that, yeah, these people are trying to kill us for a minute. If we can reverse it, why what, why wouldn't we? And have a healthier life? I mean, because when, when doctors start sending, giving you these prescriptions for life, for life, no cure, you, you got to stop and pause at that. That is some, some awesome kind of crap to put in somebody's face that, yeah, you're sick. You ain't never getting well. And I'm going to make you pay for it until you die. I mean, because that's what that is. Yeah, you're sick. You ain't ever getting well. And I'm going to make you pay for it till you die. Because that's all a, a, a prescription is. I mean, whether it's partially paid for or not, you're paying for it. Because they were trying to make me pay for life for this doggone uh, high blood pressure medicine. I'm like, you a lie? You are a lie. And I, I know that doctor knew I was crazy because I, I was like, I ain't not taking that because that's like a death sentence to me. I mean, going to tell me I ain't never getting off this medicine. Like, what good are you? What, what good is your degree? I mean, isn't that why y'all go to school? I mean, you're you going to band-aid some stuff up, not even try to find a cure? Man, shut up. So anyhow, uh, I, I can believe Dr. Sabi is just like that. Uh, Fatum uh, uh, Puti, uh, if you have a question, go ahead. You can you can ask. For some reason, my eyes are acting crazy. Uh, Randy says to Fatum Puti, uh, I was a spelling bee champ, great with uh, phonics. Okay. Fatum, Fatum Puti says, Randy, um, yes, that's it, LOL. Um, Randy says, am... Um, putee. Oh, amputee. Amputation? Wait, let me go back. Let me keep reading. Is fat... Wait, is fat... Amputee? Oh, I'm saying it completely wrong. Fat... Fat amputee. Thank you for correcting me on that. I'm trying to put all kind of accents. Fatam Puti. <laughs> God, I feel like such an idiot. I'm so sorry. So wait a minute. Are, wait. So are you an amputee? Fat amputee? Okay. Uh, Peter. Uh, hey, Peter. Welcome back. Can I ask about the vaccine? Uh, and the poison, how to remove it. That thing is injected into your muscle. 
And I believe they did that by design because that's the hardest place to detox anything when it's in your muscle. And I would have said a, a chelation. Uh, and uh, from what I'm hearing from, you know, some other uh, herbalists is that if you can, um, if you can uh, chelate uh, almost the same day, you you have a higher chance of uh, detoxing that uh, stuff out of your system. I mean, just heavy chelation. And that's the, um, uh, the there's several different herbs that you can use. Um, but the heavy metal extraction is definitely what's needed. And I want to, I want to say something with high iron and I got I, I may have to alter, um, the herb. You got to have a herb that has that magnetic pull, uh, a heavier magnetic pull, like with iron in it. But right now the, the one that I'm using has Cascada Sagrada, uh, rhubarb, um, blessed thistle, and protegiosa as a, a as a tea. Let Peter, let me get back to you on that. If you want to try to detox that crap out of your system, um, uh, and do it like as soon as you get it, you have a higher chance of uh, uh, getting uh, it detox if it can be at all. But like I said. They inject you into the muscle, which is one of the hardest, hardest things to detox, hardest location. And that's why we do key, uh, uh, chelation to get that heavy metal out. Hey, I got to think about that. So, yeah, um, I, I'm going to um, do some research on that and uh, get back to you on that. <laughs> I love you too, Sharon. Thank you so much. Okay. Fat amputees laughing at me. I <laughs> know. I'm silly. Okay. So, yeah. I, um, so, Peter, yeah, I'm going to get back with you once I do a little more research. But for right now, use the chelation uh, herbs that I've uh, um, uh, told you about until I can do more research. Cause I, I think I need to find, uh, one of the herbs that, um, has more iron in it. Um, and I, I'll think about that. I got to go to the book. Okay. Sharon says, um, there is some type of, uh, clay that's, uh, supposed to pull it out of your body. Uh, you bathe in it. I would say do it all. You hear me? I would do it all. So yeah, is that that bentonite clay, uh, Sharon? Is that what you're talking about? Because that could be it. I, I don't have my book, but I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, it is. Uh, bentonite is really powerful, but they use bentonite after the chelation to um, also. It's kind of like uh, a substitute for sea moss. And I'm wondering if sea moss, because sea moss has iron in it as well. I have to think about that. That is a very good question. Um, Jerry uh, says, uh, very powerful. Uh, why not just use iron? Uh, because it's a way that you have to have it ingested just so that it's not just sitting in your system. It's also pulling. And there are some herbs that have high iron content. And I just got to figure out which one. And you're right. Why not just use iron? You you could, but you're going to use it in a format that will allow your body to pull and extract, not just sit sit there. Yeah. Okay. So Shan said, yes, think that's it. It pulls heavy metals. Yes. So yeah, the chelation, but yeah, once it's in the muscle, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look. I'm gonna definitely look that up. So yeah, guys, y'all done put me to work again. I got homework again tonight, so I'm gonna definitely look that up. Um. So fat amputee, if you're doing a fast tomorrow, come and just. I'm telling you, we will be here. Whatever you need for you know your support, we're here for you. Anyone else that's 
uh, doing any kind of fasting. And that might be another thing, Peter, you know, just pure, simple fasting with these herbs. Try not to eat anything because you don't want it to feed off of anything. I, I really got to think about this. This is a good one. Thank you for that. Uh, Jerry says, I mean, uh, you're, I'm very powerful. <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Uh, I'm telling you, it's our family, you know, and that, that's how I feel uh, when I'm here because our family here on my Alkaline Vegan Journey, uh, one o'clock, seven o'clock, we, we've got some powerful people that are in this room that just give me so much encouragement and support. You know, you can't help but feel empowered when you're here in this space. So yeah, join us. So Jerry, are you new? I don't recall. Um, I may have, my memory is shoddy or something. Sharon says, I'm not vaccinated, but I recently had to get a blood transfusion. I'm scared to death. You already had the blood transfusion. Yeah, clean that blood up. Join us with that fast. I'm telling you, this, this fasting is freaking powerful. You got somebody else's blood in you. You want to clean that stuff up. Do a fast ASAP. I mean, get your body back to ground zero so that you can, you know, build your own stem cells, rebuild your own uh, stuff from the blood that you just received. Yeah, mm, yeah, chelation too, because you, I don't know how they, I'm telling you, the, the world of medicine is fascinating and scary all at the same time, because you got these whack doctors that, you know, take it too far. I, I don't know, I just, mm. but anyhow, uh, fat amputee said, I'm using an artesian water and spring water. Uh, yeah, use spring water. Some of these artesian waters, if you actually look at some of the, they actually have ingredients. Now, why would water have an ingredient? It's because they do put some chemicals in to try to make it uh, um, uh, um, alkaline, like sodium bicarbonate and potassium bicarbonate and all these other things when all you need is the spring water. Okay, for some reason. Uh, so, yeah, stick to the spring water. I suggest uh, uh, Mountain Valley. I think I'm going to do Mountain Valley for our 40 day fast. I got to start collecting this water now because it seems like in that glass bottle, it's going to be very, very expensive. Crystal guys are Deer Park or Mountain Valley. And I got to finish doing the research on that Mountain Valley too in the glass. So yeah. Okay. Dang, I keep doing that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so DC says, what can you do uh, to build muscle? What can you do to build muscle? I'm telling you, you know, and I keep thinking, it's the, 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 the proteins, you know, like the hemp seeds, the uh, mushrooms, the um, chickpeas, the uh, walnuts, Brazil nuts. Proteins, amino acids, the proteins, proteins, um, um, uh, and sea moss. Sea moss are the main things that I can think of. Sea moss, of course, to build muscle, sea moss, and your proteins. And you got a bunch of that stuff in sea moss. Um, Sharon says we need to uh, start researching and testing our water because all spring water is not alkaline. Uh, Google. No, no, no. It's not alkaline at all. But what I did is I went through a, uh, a battery of um, uh, research when I uh, found uh, uh, Deer Park and Crystal Geyser because Poland Spring, Evian, all, all of that other stuff, they were so horrible. It wasn't even funny. So the research has been done on at least um, uh, Deer Park and Crystal Geyser. I've done it, and that's why I, I recommend those two. Now, Mountain Valley has been something that has been newly mentioned to me by uh, someone who was using it and suggested it. So I don't jump in and, and recommend uh, things until I've researched them. So I have not completed the research on Mountain Valley. 
So you're right, Sharon. We need to be cognizant of all of that. So Fed Amputee says to Randy, um, uh, I have Crystal Geyser, uh, the artesian water I got from uh, an underground spring. Oh, so straight from a spring. Okay, I like that. This is uh, this for some 79 years young. Who's 79? DC, you 79? DC Grammy. Wow. Very good. I'm right behind you. That's okay. We're in there together. Randy says um, to Fed Amputee, Crystal Geyser's uh, spring water only. Yeah. But if she's getting straight from a spring, I, 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 I can't refute that. I mean, it's like, where are you at where you can get water straight from the spring? But even... even um, uh, Crystal Geyser and uh, Deer Park, they have their own spring where they own their own spring. So, you know, I, I check them out because even with their stuff, you have to look at, uh, they have different uh, numbers, ratings. And I'll, I'll, I'll try to find where I did my research so y'all can see the lineup of the waters and how they uh, have different categories of um, certain things that are just automatically going to be in water, period, because of our environment. So, let's see. So, let's see. Um, uh, Gary said, yes, but... But love it. Okay. I don't know why my eyes are acting crazy. Okay. Nine o'clock. That's what's happening. Yeah, I'm going to be a Grammy. Uh, man, okay, so that that's good water, uh, fed amputee. I'm telling you, spring near, you. but still test it, cause uh, you know if you don't have complete access to it and only on your land, uh, you never know. Because uh, you know how the groundwater with other things, uh, pesticides and things that people are um, uh, uh, using in neighboring areas, you could have runoff and all that other stuff. So still have it tested. I can't have see. Uh, pH, welcome, welcome. I don't really know what's happening here, but uh, heck, yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Come in. Come in. I know what you mean. We be all over the place sometimes. We're actually talking about fasting and resetting our systems and taking control of our health and wellness. And this is a platform that was created to give uh, fasting people or people who are fasting support and encouragement. You're so funny. She's like, I don't know what's happening here, but heck yeah. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, right now we're talking about different waters. We've got um, people that are going to be starting their fast, a fast tomorrow uh, and others. I mean, people are kind of doing, you know, fasting at some begin and end point. Uh, uh, some are doing, most are doing all water. And I'm suggesting everyone do all water because you get the most benefits uh, from doing all water fasting from the research that I've, I've been doing. Uh, uh, doing and um, we just finished a 40 uh, a 21 day fast January 1st through 22nd and then uh, we went uh, straight from that into chelation which is a combination of herbs to pull heavy metals the remaining that are left after the fast and then we went right into our um, rejuvenation um, which in uh, includes sea moss to rebuild and rejuvenate our system and replenish uh, some of the um, necessary um, um, heavy metals that our body needs, like calcium and stuff like that. And then we went right into our raw. We're planning on doing another fast for 40 days starting uh, March 3rd. So feel free, follow me and join join us. We're going to uh, be on every day at 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock uh, uh, for anyone who's fasting, to give them support and encouragement right here, 1 o'clock and 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern. So hope that caught you up right quick. I mean, we've covered a lot of territories as far as fasting, the benefits, you know, 
um, all of it. So we'll continue to, you know, keep going over it for people who are uh, new uh, to us uh, so that they know the benefits and, you know, uh, some of the other things that are needed uh, uh, once you fast, especially if you have underlying conditions. Yeah, it's called Crystal Geyser, Sharon. The uh, water that we use is called Crystal Geyser, G-E-Y-E-R-S. It's uh, um, uh, water that we have here. Okay. And um, some people take supplements while fasting. Yeah, um, for us, uh, we're trying to get the maximum benefit, and that includes uh, uh, stem cells. None of the, the research that I have found has included any uh, supplements or anything other than water. That's why I'm doing uh, the all water. Uh oh, it's almost nine o'clock. Um, and yeah, some people do. Some people uh, actually eat during a fast. You know, uh, some people do all kinds of things, but we're promoting all water fasting so that we could get our bodies back to uh, reset ground zero um, uh, with the, the benefits that come with all water fasting. Um, uh, pH. Uh, hello, I'm so late. Everything goes upside down. Um, fat amputee uh, uh, says to Randy, Google uh, 18, 1186 water. Okay. Robin, one word inbox. Okay. I don't know how to do that. Okay, isn't Deer Park loaded with sodium? Um, not to my uh, uh, knowledge. All of it has some based on just environmental issues. And that's why I say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link the whole graph. And they have every water that's on the market for sale. And, and they do a, uh, a breakdown of everything that's in it you know, and the percents and all that other stuff. So I'll link that as well. I got to link a couple other articles and you could just take a screenshot of it. And I don't know how you're going to cut and paste it. You might have to manually put the stuff in. Yeah, my eyes, something is happening with my eyes and stuff. So, uh, okay, uh, Randy, I don't know how to do inbox right. You, you think I know this system? You think I know how to do this crap? I don't know how to do this crap. <laughs> got to catch up. Okay, Fat Amputee said um, about the Deer Park having sodium. I got to um, check that. And they, all of them have sodium. All of them have uh, some uh, uh, negligible, uh, negligible uh, amount of fluorine and some other crap. But you know, you have to deal with the lesser of the evils. That's why as soon as I came out of that fast, I started drinking coconut water. Okay. The, yeah, the water that I'm drinking right now is Deer Park. And coconut water. I mainly drink coconut water, but I'm too lazy to crack open yet another coconut. As <laughs> even the cans, uh, I don't drink out of cans, but uh, and you shouldn't either. Uh, high BPA, but um, even the cartons and stuff that they have, it's called Zico. I was too lazy to get out of here to go to the store, and only have like a little bit of water left. Mm -hmm. Okay, I gotta catch it up. As a matter of fact, as we speak. All of that coconut I cracked up. There's all that's left. Shit. So I definitely got to get out of here tomorrow. So uh, let me catch up. Okay. Yeah, the water that I'm drinking now, Sharon, is uh, Deer Park. Um, Randy says, Fed Amputee, uh, wild. Dang. Uh. Y'all, I'm just, I'm slow. Y'all, y'all faster than me, but I'm trying to make sure I don't leave nobody out. I want, uh, anybody who leaves a comment, I want it to be, uh, said, okay. Uh, wild caught artesian water. Okay. Um, so Sharon says to Randy, it's almost, uh, neutral. Yeah. Okay. See, I have to do um, uh, research on these things because I, I I have not researched any other water since I did the research on um, 
Deer Park and Crystal Geyser, and that was uh, two years ago. So I probably need to update my research on the water. Uh, Sharon says to uh, Randy, I just looked it up, and that water is 5.4 to 6.9, so it's exceeding. Uh, which one is that, Sharon? Okay. Um, I don't know why I can't have it. See, it's like my eyes are turning red. I put that crap on my eyes. I should not be putting makeup on my eyes. Um, Kaylin, thank you so much for following. Uh, PH says, no, um, I got to go, but uh, good luck. Thank you f so much for joining us. Yeah, we'll be. PH says, no, um, I got to go, but uh, good luck. Thank you f so much for joining us. Yeah, we'll be here every day at 1 and 7 p.m. So join us again when you can. Is that Jerry? Uh, did you experience weight loss while fasting every time? And, you know, as soon as I start feeding again, my body went back to its, you know, the weight that I'm supposed to be. I've never gained past. First time I fasted, I lost 58 pounds, and I've kind of maintained that weight throughout all my fast. I mean, it dips, you know, but as soon as I start feeding again, I go right back to that weight from my very first fast. So I've never increased the weight. I, I think I was like 180 and I went down to 115 and uh, after that first fast and my, my weight has maintained between 115, 120, um, sometimes 125 and I throughout all of my fast, all of my regular eating and all of that still 115 and 120. <coughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's morning. It's early in the morning for me. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. PH. Wait, PH, where are you? Okay, I gotta I gotta catch up with you again. Yeah, join us again. I, that's why I do the two uh, things, PH, so that people in different time zones can uh, uh, join us. So yeah, one p.m., seven p.m. Eastern. So yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, shame, I want to say shame. Oh, my eyes are messing up. Thank you so much for following. Okay. PH, I'm so far behind. Um, um, I'm not sure what we're uh, on about. Uh, you were saying about alkalines. I'm learning uh, that I'm Ken, uh, Chris Griser Spring Water. I'm spending too much time on some of these because I can't see. I don't know what's, my eyes are going blurry. Let me get some tissue or something. <laughs> So yeah, PH, the whole conversation was about fasting and resetting our system, going without food for uh, 40 days starting March 3rd, um, March 2nd, I'm sorry. So. Put that makeup on my eyes and I think it got in my eyes. Okay, let's see. Yeah, um, yeah. After we fast, we go straight into uh, uh, some of the uh, teas and things to do the heavy metal pool, and then our ultimate goal is to become alkaline vegan and follow that lifestyle, which is Dr. Sabi's alkaline and wild food. These are foods that are found on Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide, which I have posted on my page. So all of those. Uh, 
uh, things, uh, uh, questions about the things that are acceptable to eat are there on that nutritional guide. Okay, Fed MPT says, if there is anyone here from Texas, uh, there is also a natural spring in that state where you can get it. Okay. Uh, Emma Parsons, um, Randy says to Emma, um, simply stop eating and drink spring water. We start 40 days on March 2nd through April 15th. Right. Uh, Sharon Crystal Geys Geyser. G, oh wait, G E Y Geyser. How do you spell it? G E Y S E R, Geyser. Yeah, that's the other uh, alkaline water. I mean, not alkaline, but spring water. So uh, Sharon is G E Y S E R. Okay. Um. Is it ribs? Okay, what, uh, what's that mouth do, Granny? Ribs, the world? What that mouth do, Granny? I don't know what that means. Uh, Sharon says, you need some glasses that block the blue light from electronics. That's probably exactly what I need. Because, you know, when I sit back, I can see, but... You know, mm, I don't know. <clears throat> I need to stop wearing glasses at all. Okay. So, uh, Randy tells Sharon to please look up uh, sparklets. I need to look that up too. What is that all about? Hey, Nicole, thank you for joining. Okay, guys, it's 9 o'clock. We got we to gotta wrap this up. Um, So, uh, crystal geyser is the spring water that you found that has the um, acidity. Okay. Can I do it with you? Alex. Okay. I, I guess. I guess. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Anyhow. Okay. So you're vegan. Let me duet. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Let me duet. I thought duet is something you do when I post something. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what they be talking about. But let's do this, guys. Let's um, let's uh, 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 reconvene tomorrow at 1. And uh, uh, I'm going to do some extra... Um, Research, y'all do some research on the water as well. Like I said, the last research that I've done on uh, any spring water has been 2020, and I know I need to update my research. I'm still drinking uh, Deer Park and Crystal Geyser based on that research. I'm gonna post the link of the URL that I use to uh, it's the um, it's a whole list of all kinds of waters, and they tell. Uh, the percentage of each element that's in each of the um, waters that are on the market. Some of the stuff I'd never even heard of before. So um, let's go ahead and um, meet tomorrow. I love you guys and I'm, I'm so proud of you. Keep up the good work with the fasting. We'll be here to give you the support and everything. Um, uh, but yeah, let's meet up tomorrow, okay? Thank you guys. I love you and I'll see you all tomorrow at one. Good night.